Hey, Gratuitous here from itsgratuitous.com. In this video, I wanna talk about the drum pad layout. So what does each drum pad do depending on what window you're in? And I have a page for this, all right? So come to itsgratuitous.com, come to the help area, and just go to the M Audio Oxygen Pro help articles, and you're gonna to go to the drum pad layout. And as you scroll down, an image is gonna to stick to the top of the page, and depending on what window you're in, that's what this drum pad does. So for example, let's scroll down to like, let's say a pop-up window. So if you're in a menu, you know, one goes up, two goes down, three is accept, four is cancel. And this is how you can see, you know, if you're in the channel rack or if you're in a generator. So a generator is different than an effect. So we have virtual instruments, which FL Studio calls generators. And then we have a plugin window, which is like our mixing effects. But as you can see, if you are in a plugin window, so let's go down this a little bit, you know, you can close the plugin. You can go to the next and previous plugin of that mixer insert with five and six. And then again, that flip uh, safe state as well as flip state. Again, make sure that you are saving the state first before you go flip. Otherwise a little pop-up appears and, it, and then you have to go back to your keyboard. So just remember, you always have to save it and then you can flip. And if you have any questions, you feel free to reach out to me, but that is how this drum pad layout works. All right, so you come to the help area, you come here to the drum pad uh, layout, and then you simply can just look here as you go down. Uh, also, I will share in the premium M Audio Oxygen Pro MIDI script, I explain this for you here, you can read through this, which I suggest, but you can set up your own custom workflow by changing things from zero to one, you have to save the MIDI script and then you close and reopen FL Studio. And that way you can customize your workflow depending on if you want a fast workflow and know what you're doing, or if you just kind of want like a basic setup and how you do that, I'll share that with you. So let's come here to the package. So here's the MIDI scripts and then here is this one, okay? So I'll open this up. And so as you can see at the very, very top of the MIDI script, the, again, this is the premium MIDI script if you have purchase the M Audio Oxygen Pro template. So if you've purchased, you get the premium version, right? And so this is the premium MIDI script. And all you have to do is you can put this to zero or put it to one, okay, for any of these options. And then I explain what each one does right here, okay? So if you've seen my other videos where I talked about this GRAT workflow, my gratuitous workflow, you just switched it to one. In version three, I removed that and I allowed you to have way more control over what you want enabled and disabled, all right? So again, you just simply open this up. You can change whatever you want. Here is a description of what each setting does. Um, and I shipped it the way how I use it, but you can set it up however you want. Okay, and you can you save that and then you just reopen FL Studio. And then that allows you to get this uh, customized workflow with the drum pads, which I explained right here. Okay, so again, this is the drum pad layout. And as you go down, an image will stick to the top. You simply just look at what the number does, and then you're on your way. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at hi at itsgratuitous.com or just visit me here um, on the website. You can also contact me through my contact page.